In this video, I'm going to show you how to add post process effects in Unity to make your scene look even more awesome, like this one here. So, yeah, let's get started. So, I've already got URP in my project, but if you don't have it, just go to Windows and Packet Manager. And here you need to find universal RP package. It has to be somewhere down here. And here it is. So you just need to import this package and the post processing comes with it now. So you don't have to import this separately. So just go ahead and import this package. Once you have imported this package, right click, create and go to rendering universal render pipeline and click on this one and it will create this urp profile and you can just set pretty much everything from quality lighting shadows and processing from here but in order for this to work we first need to go to edit and project settings and inside of this quality tab we need to drag and drop our URP profile and same for the graphic settings here alright so once we have done this we are now ready to use post processing effects in our scene before that let me just tell you I've added this FPS controller from this standard assets pack and first person character prefabs and you can just drag and drop any of these so I'm using FPS controller for this project here Alright, so now let's play this to see how it looks before any post-processing effects. It looks good already but we can make it even more awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and add some post-processing effects. First let's close this. First we need to create an empty game object here. And also you can support me on Patreon by joining any of these tiers. If you want me to keep making these videos, you can just donate $2 per month. It will help me stay motivated. Also for an extra dollar per month, you can get your name mentioned at the end of every third video. Or you can just join the $6 tiers per month to get access to most of the scripts and projects that I use in my videos. Awesome. And I've already got one patron here who donates $5 per month, so thank you so much for that. So I'll drop the link in the description, go ahead and help a brother out if you can. Alright, so let's get back to Unity now. We will name this PP for post processing. Also we need to reset the transform here. Click on add component and search for volume. And we will add this volume script here. Alright, so we can change the mode from global to local so if we keep this on global it will apply the effects to overall scene and here we need to create a new profile in order to apply effects all right here it is and now we can apply effect using this add override button so click on this post processing and here all are the effects that we can use firstly let's start with my favorite one bloom here we can enable these properties individually or hit all to enable all the properties at once. And now we can just play around with these values to get the desired effect. But if we change the intensity nothing happens here because if we go to the camera and camera settings and under rendering we need to enable this post processing in order to see the changes. Now if we go to our post processing effects and try to bump up the intensity of it. Now you can see some of the highlighted areas are starting to glow. To see it better let's change the color to something like yellow. To make it look like the sunlight. And if we decrease the threshold the scene starts glowing with sunlight. And as you can see here, all these bright areas are glowing more than the dark ones because of the threshold we have set. Let's increase the intensity of it. 
but if we increase the threshold the bloom's not gonna work anymore so let's keep it low to something like 0.9 seems to be a good value or 0.8 in our case if we just bump the intensity down a bit thing like 5 so yeah 5 looks good and also we can add the dirt texture to our bloom effect but we're not gonna do that for now so let's go ahead and try to run the game awesome so our scene already looks so much alive it gives this nice touch of sunlight to our environment cool let's try to make this even more better try adding another effects and it would take a lot of time to review each and every one of them so we're gonna look into the useful ones so let's try color adjustment one of the most useful effects and here we can change the exposure of our scene to make it more brighter or darker if we want I think 0.5 seems to be a pretty good value for our scene or maybe 0.4 Awesome, also we can make the scene more colorful by increasing the saturation. And 5 seems to be a pretty good value. Let's also increase the contrast to maybe 10 or 5. Yeah, so 5 looks good. You can also add color filters if you want. Let's try to change this. But in our case, um, white looks good. So let's just disable this. Also you can change the hue from here. Or maybe not. So you can just play around with these values to get your desired look. So let's keep this at point 3. So yeah, let's try another one here. Add override, post processing. Let's say depth of field. It is also one of the most useful ones so enable this mod and let's like this Gaussian enable both the start and the end values and in order to see how it works let's set the end value to 0 notice this line here this is the start point of our depth of field and you can just apply this to as further as you want by setting the end value here as you can see the trees farther ahead are now blurred go to full screen mode now we can see how the blur is applied to the objects depending on the distance let's keep the end point to let's say 60 awesome also you can increase the quality of this effect by enabling this high quality sampling but it will affect the overall performance of the game so I recommend you not do that Alright, so let's try to add another effect. So maybe this one here. Let's enable this. And as I increase the intensity, you can see the effect on our scene. And this could be useful uh, when the player is underwater maybe. Or when the car is moving too fast. So yeah, you can just set the intensity to match the speed of your car or something like that. But for now, let's just remove this. And try adding another one. So maybe we can try, of course, the vineyard. So it is most probably one of the common effects in many games. Let's hit all here. We will keep these values as is and first let's enable roundness and try to increase the intensity here. And as you can see this dark circle pops up around the edges of our camera and it looks pretty awesome isn't it? If we try to increase it some more we can see this whole circle to increase the smoothness a bit and decrease this back. So you can set it to whatever you like. Something like this here in our case looks good. So I'm gonna keep it like this. And also we can change the color here to something like red. So 
So blood red like this here and increase the intensity of it. Many games use this technique to show that the player health is very low and he needs a refill. So you can do that if you want but let's make it black again and try exploring another one here. So let's try this one. This could also be useful and it gives you a lot more controls over the look of your game. You can set the midtones, the highlights and shadows separately if you want. And if we try to decrease this, the shadows become darker and we can make them brighter if we pump this up. And same goes for the midtones here. See how only the midtones are affected here. So you can play around with this if you want. So you can also set the highlights like these areas here to make them more brighter or darker like this. But for our scene we don't actually need this so, so let's just remove this. Let's try to find another one. Let's go for the white balance here. So this one gives you the overall control of the temperature of your scene. So you can either set it to a sunny day like this or the cloudy cold look like this. In this case however we can set this to 10 not negative but positive 10 here as there are no clouds. You can also apply this tint here, set it to whatever value works for you. 5 seems ok for our case, alright. So our scene now looks awesome, isn't it? Let's try to play this out. Wow, it looks good actually. Like some fairyland or something, you know. So now it's up to your imagination, just play around with all these effects to achieve your desired look. There are many more effects, but some of them only work with the HDR, like the stone mapping. Also I haven't covered this motion blur effect, which is one of the awesome effects, because I have already made a separate video on it. So if you want to check that out just click on this link up here. Alright so that's it for this video. If it helps you please subscribe to my youtube channel and I will see you in the next one.